<laughs> Crowbars. Ah! Houston, are you okay? Ah. Uh. Crowbars, a handy tool for any situation. For example, pulling nails, breaking into houses, opening a can of tuna. But what if you're attacked and the only thing you have to defend yourself with is a crowbar? Would a crowbar be an effective self-defense tool? And more importantly, how much damage could you do to an attacker? Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's what I'm here to find out by the only way I know how. Collecting data through trial and error. I'm going to get hit with crowbars. That's that's what we're gonna do. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Crowbar's up. <laughs> up first is the control test on Joustin Hones here, the good old ballistics gel dummy. Now, I wanna see the peak potential of the crowbar as a weapon. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a little competition, Mark. Whoever can cause the biggest ripple on Joustin Hones with a crowbar hit wins. And we'll let the viewers decide who wins. How's that sound? I think I'm gonna win. I don't think you will. You seem a little weak. It seems like you haven't been going to the gym lately. <sighs> don't tell me. Shut up! All right, Mark, I'll go first and show you how it's done. Best of luck. Thank you. Felt pretty good about that. It was a good uh, angle of attack there. Uh, I got it right on the, you know, the, the bending part. Uh, I think it was a deep divot. Uh, Jocelyn Hones, if he had bones and sternum in there, it would have been cracked. Um, that's gonna be tough to beat. Well done. Thank you, thank you. I'm pretty strong. I've been back in the gym recently. I don't know if you guys can tell. Jeez. Yeah, that's my broken arm too. <laughs> uh, anyways, your turn. Thanks. All right, Mark, swing for the fences. You idiot! You idiot! <laughs> what? The wrong side! Wrong side? There's no rules. <laughs> You, my box! Oh. <laughs> Joustin! Joustin, no! Well, it's an inconsistent competition now because I hit with this side and you hit with that side. Side with the crowbar, not a specific side. You're right. Um, uh, let me know who won in the comments, but uh, just know Mark's end was sharp. Just know his end was blunt. Which is more impressive. If you're weaker. What? Think about it. It's easier if it's sharp. All right, you're thinking about too much. <laughs> I need to say that was some pretty impressive data, but not nearly as impressive as the sponsor of this video, CF Moto. Did you really have to burp just then? Whatever. For those of you that don't know, CF Moto is a major manufacturer in complete machines, such as motorcycles, ATVs, and side-by-side. -side. They have over 500 dealerships in the US making customer service a top priority, and they can offer you the best price on the market. And for the hunters out there, they got plenty of vehicles you're sure to love, such as their Z-Force and U-Force models. So if you're interested in getting a CF Moto vehicle for yourself, click the link in my description to find a dealership near you. Well, with the control tests out of the way, it's now time for me to get hit. So here's the plan, I got a wide, a range of crowbars and we're gonna work our way from the least intimidating to the most intimidating um, starting with the mini pry bar and I know what you're gonna say is a pry bar a crowbar well <laughs> it's in the crowbar family so what's gonna happen here is Mark's gonna hit me in the shoulder with this little bad boy and we're gonna see how much damage it does hopefully we collect a lot of good data right yeah, I was just right. <laughs> now, Mark, I'm not very scared of this little baby pry bar, so I'm thinking 100% power slap. Not with the spiked end, the flat end. Okay, and let's see what happens here. Right into the shoulder. <sighs> it's a, it's a, <laughs> I hit it. It just, your muscles deflected it so fast, it just went right off of it. You're right, I do lotion, so I'm probably a little bit slippery. Very slippery. All right, I'll give you one more go at 100% slap. 
yeah, it smarts. It's just, it's a smarting pain. I wouldn't say it's like the worst thing ever, but it's not like enjoyable. Does that make sense? Did you enjoy it? Yeah, that was nice. <laughs> he's a sadist. Uh, hey, he's a sadist, okay? <laughs> I didn't get any pleasure from that, but he enjoyed hurting me. Then why'd you ask for a second one? Well, I want the data to be consistent. He did a glancing blow the first one. Okay, fine. <laughs> all right, I'm all about the data. I thought okay. you were gonna ask for another one. No, I'm not. Well, <laughs> I am. But <laughs> <laughs> here's what I'm thinking. Clearly, this thing is small, weak, uh, and just pathetic in general. But what if we turn it? Now, Mark, uh, since it is like, you know, a little bit sharp, uh, I'm thinking you give me 50% power, spike hit into the shoulder. Okay. 50% power. I'll keep my muscle loose. Hmm. 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 See, I was expecting some penetration there. A little bit, a little bit of a half a millimeter. Give me 75% power. Okay, okay, let's see, that, that's a little bit better. That's a little bit better. Broke some skin. Broke some skin. Uh, this is the data I was looking for. Let's just do it, 100% power. All right. Oh! Okay, All right, that was the worst one. Um, yep, and now we got the both of the teeth in there. Um, I can think I can safely conclude at this point. The harder you hit, the worse it hurts. I mean, that's an obvious mark. Uh, what I was gonna say is that uh, not very effective as a weapon, because it's oh. so tiny. But we're moving on to the good old 15 inch pry bar. All right, it's larger, uh, more impressive if you ask me. I think it'll be better as a self-defense tool. That's bigger than you and Mark combined. I don't know, Mark's a little bit taller than that. Ah, um, never yeah, mind, you're right. My yeah. bad. Yeah. My math. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're talking about our penises. No. We're gonna do a slapping hit, uh, let's say 50% power in my other shoulder. Mm. Yeah, there's a lot more weight behind that, huh? <laughs> it sounded better. It a little bit of a chunkier sound. It's like, <laughs> I felt like it kind of hit my bone a little bit there, to be honest. It did. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, nothing a few uh, shoulder rotations, arm rotations can't fix. All right, Mark, 75% power slap. Ah! <laughs> That's such a weird noise. <laughs> that is a very distinct. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like I'm getting slapped with a chunk of metal. Some nice red marks there. Well, not to do 100%, huh? <laughs> yeah. <sighs> <laughs> what was that? That was so. I closed my eyes. I forgot what percentage was going I was. No, <laughs> you're going for the kill. <laughs> Just like, wait a minute. Oh my oh. god. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying for blood. <laughs> Potato. No, that's been there for weeks. <laughs> yep, it's old. It's Not like good. An automatic blood blister. Yeah, that's uh, definitely something. Do you think it makes my shoulder look more impressive? It looks like you got hit with a pry bar. Okay, that's not impressive. I'm not excited about this next one, but uh, you know, uh, it's time to go for the jagged edge here. So if it sticks like... your arm, in your arm. Dude. Uh... <laughs> That's not gonna happen. Uh, we're gonna do 15, 15% power, 15% power, uh, and we'll slowly work our way up into a comfortable range till we feel it's unsafe. Oh my, is it right in my rear delt? In my rear? No, don't right, you know. You don't need it. What are you trying to do, okay? I was seeing the best part. I was feeling the most cush, tush. Right there, right there, right in the middle, right in the, the lateral, lateral head of my delt. Okay, that was like... I missed. Yeah. You, you see, I think he's scared as well, which is good. It's a good thing. Okay, I'm not making fun of you, Mark. Guess we'll go straight to 100. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do 25% power. Okay, yes. Uh-huh. We can go harder. Okay, that was... Uh, I, uh, all right, one more. <laughs> a little bit harder. Okay. <laughs> Carry on, Mark. A little bit harder. <laughs> One more. A little bit harder. Okay. Ooh. Oh! Oh! <laughs> no! <laughs> God! 
There's some cutting potential there. Uh, I got a full range of motion. A little bit harder, Mark. <laughs> I think we need one more, a little bit harder. You got it, boss. Oh, what did you do? I let go of it. <laughs> do it again. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so you skinned me a little bit. I think Mark's being nice to me there. I, I, I would be surprised if we got over 50% power on that, uh, but it's compelling data to say the least. I think it's safe to conclude with a full power swing, it would be bad. Yes. It would be pretty bad. Absolutely. You're walking into the hospital with a pry bar in your arm. Uh, anyways, uh, move on? Yes. Moving on. Moving on. The pry bar tests uh, were good. Um, I think it kind of eased me into what is going to happen, which is getting hit with this good old 30 inch crowbar. Now, I had a smaller one that we were going to use first, but I accidentally lost it somewhere around there earlier today. Don't ask me how you can lose a crowbar in grass and leaves, but it is gone. So we're just moving on to the bigger ones that I have. Um, for this, I'll be getting hit in the lake. Of course, because there's a lot of mass here, probably less chance to break a bone uh, instantly. But we'll start out with low power hits and work our way up, just like we did with the pry bar. What could go wrong, Mark? Why am I wearing a mask? You're a burglar. Yeah, you're, it's like, why? who else uses a crowbar other than burglars and maybe people that actually use it for the intended use? That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. What I'm thinking, Mark, is a 15% power hit right here to my quad. Oh my, okay. This is gonna be bad. This is gonna be really bad. Uh, I'm not, I am not looking forward to any more percent power than that. That is heavy. <laughs> that is heavy. Does it say the weight on that? Probably like five pounds. You know, oh, yeah. At least five pounds. I, I would say seven and a half. Let's uh, up this to 25% power. Maybe, you know, get a little bit higher. Like right there, you see this part right here? Right here? That's where I want you to hit. Oh my God. One more. Oh, no, okay. Oh. You lost your yeah, there was a... Strong wind. A banana peel and a, and a strong wind. It was yeah. a double whammy. <laughs> Gotta really clean up the refuse around here. Heel. <laughs> <laughs> Hit the words out of me too. <laughs> so I'm thinking 40% power. Okay. <sighs> oh my. I feel like you're hitting my femur, you know, and I got some, you know, these quads are, you know, Look at the jiggle in these things. You know, we got some shadow in there, but look at that that wobble, the wobble. See that? Alrighty. I say we do one more blunt hit, a little bit stronger than the last one, just to wrap up this crowbar. But uh, I'm gonna make a deal here. Any good scientist worth their salt doesn't necessarily react when they get hit and is in excruciating pain. So I'm not gonna react. And then everyone has to like the video. Mark, you will shake my hand to cement the deal. What if I accidentally swing 100%? You won't scream still, right? I mean, I'm not gonna scream regardless. You're gonna hold your ground, stand tall. I am, because I'm a proud scientist. You're really squeezing my hand, I'm kind of scared. <laughs> Make the right choice, Mark. And if I don't? I'll catch you eventually. <laughs> <laughs> I reacted, didn't I? <laughs> ah, see, I meant this one. Go again, Mark. That was, that was like a 30. That was my bad. I think you hit him in the knee. That was close. So we'll call it 60 since I was very close to the knee and I could have broke his knee. And... It was getting kneecapped. Sorry, you didn't work. <laughs> I felt it in my knee right away. It sent like this, this pain, like right down into my knee. Isn't that a reflex test? 
dog? Yeah, I got some good reflexes. <laughs> I'm not happy about this next test we're gonna do, but I think we need to do it. I'm gonna get hit with uh, the sharp end there. I don't know what you call that end, but we're getting hit with that end. I call it the stabby side. The stabby side. We're getting hit with the stabby side. Mark, give me 10% power. I don't like it. I don't like <laughs> it. You know, every... I am still, in fact, uh, of the human race, and everything in my bones, my body, my soul is telling me, Houston, don't you dare get hit harder than you just got hit because you'll be in trouble, which is why I'm ignoring that and I'm gonna get hit 20% power. Oh my God. Yeah, get a little bit more of a swing into it, Mark. Let's stay the same power level, maybe 25%. Okay, a little bit harder, let's keep, okay. Uh-huh, yep, mm-hmm. Okay, I, I, Mark, I did not say another hit. You said okay. I. <laughs> you did say okay. But I, it was okay as like, okay, the, the impress, okay, I'm, you know, analyzing da data, data processing. Okay, uh, please, go again. No, it doesn't, okay, because look what's happened. You see this? I've been penetrated on multiple levels. Okay. So would you rather get hit with this side 50% or 20%? Oh, 20% for this, for sure. Um, How about 50% this? Nope, and then uh, at that point, I'm going 50% this side. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> We've worked our way up with the sharp end of the crowbar. We got the slow-mo running for this one. I think we're gonna go 40% power. I think that's about as hard as we can go safely without me getting a crowbar stuck into my leg. So let's see what the data reveals. Jack. Oh, beautiful. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's not holding. That's not holding. Oh. Hold him. He's so flexible. <laughs> oh, he's... oh, hold him. <laughs> he's he's oh, gone ragged out. <laughs> All right, hit him in the back. I'll wake him up. <sighs> Oh. Seem to be losing oil. Yeah, I'm leaking uh, the good old scientific oil again. To be honest, that that 40% power, uh, I really felt it deep into my bones. It's almost like we saw you fully penetrate the ballistics gel beforehand and knew uh, that uh, if we did any harder than that, it would also fully penetrate me. Isn't that what you want? To be fully penetrated? I, I do not want to be fully penetrated. Just partially penetrated. I am he who penetrates. <laughs> the data has been growing. Data's been growing exponentially. We got one more crowbar here, the 36 incher. Now uh, we're gonna do some exotic attacks with this one. All right, we get a little bit freaky. Uh, so what I'm thinking here, uh, this is gonna be a hypothetical scenario. All right, um, Mark, you got the crowbar. Now pretend I'm attacking you, okay? Okay. Uh, I'm coming at you, uh -huh. and I weirdly decide to sit down, okay. pull my sock down, yeah. and then you are going to shin rake me. Right now? Sure. Oh my God. <laughs> now let's do that in a live time. Hey, buddy, give me all your money, but first let me explain how this process is gonna happen. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fine. Keep your money. <laughs> <laughs> but let's get one more with, uh, you know, pristine audio here happening here. Yeah, man, yeah, do that. Yeah, get in there. Oh, you mother. I didn't, I did not, I did not say to do it twice. But I didn't. The I, mic was uh, still by. I thought you wanted the audio. I did not. I did not. You gotta be more clear. Down and back. Yeah. There's a a <laughs> lot of scar tissue on my my legs, huh? Oh, yeah, there's I wonder, a. I wonder why you wear long socks. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to hide my scars. 
You know, people, if, if someone did, like, did a full inspection of my body, they're like, man, this guy has been through war. <laughs> some war. But no, it's just uh, beat myself up on camera. All right. Um, <laughs> let's get some crisp audio of a shin rake from a crowbar here. Um, we're going to do the other side because my right leg is a little bit tender. One more time. Go, go down with me. Ready? <laughs> one more, one more time. <laughs> no, uh, come on. Let's uh, let's line it up good. Right there, right there. Now, I want you to put slightly more beans in on this one, but not too much more, but slightly more. Ready? Go. <sighs> You know what? <laughs> if I was an attacker and you somehow got at my shins and raked me down, 100% power, I'd be done, I think. I'd, uh, I'd be done. That'd be a weird scenario. You know, life's a weird scenario. It sure is. <laughs> <laughs> Check it. The sun is setting. Mother Earth wants us to finish this experiment. But before we do so, the 36 incher is coming at me. <laughs> you know, Houston, you said in the chip challenge that I was supposed to get hit with the crowbar. <laughs> You're the right. The comments wanted it. Yeah. You know. <laughs> I feel like <laughs> this I, is the perfect time. You're 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 right. One of the most. <laughs> one of the. Take it easy. Hey, just one little little ten percenter. Right? Okay, ten percenter. <sighs> <laughs> on that leg, huh? Oh, I'm gonna be walking like I gotta take a crap tomorrow. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. I had to. All right, this one's for real. This oh. one's... Mark, I think it helps if you just look at me. Uh, yeah, I'm just... Get your hands out of the way. Get, get your elbow out of the way, sure, too. Look. Just, just put your arms up and... <laughs> <laughs> Ah, I'm okay. <laughs> oh, you know, I think I can do that once a week. You know? Once a week? Yeah. Uh, that was too bad. That wasn't very hard. Yeah, you know, that's, well, with your power, it's oh, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Mark, good job. You're giving the audience what they want. You know, I might join in more. You know, you might want to get hit more? Really gets you blood rushing. Yeah, you, you the adrenaline's pumping. Yeah. You know, uh, the data's flowing into you. You really take it all in. It's yeah. Just... Uh, <laughs> before it's all said and done, Mark, give me a good old 40% power hit with uh, the 36 incher. Let's go. God bless. Uh, that f***ing hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Let's review the data. First, I got hit with a little baby pry bar. As you can see, I got hit with some slaps. You can see some red marks there. And then uh, I got stabbed with the pointy end, which broke some skin. Then we got the big pry bar over there, which honestly, my shoulder is looking pretty contused at this point. Got some contusions going there. Then obviously the stabby end made me bleed. Then, there's a uh, compilation of data here. Um, you know, I got hit multiple times in multiple different ways. Uh, you know, you can see the flat ends definitely left some red marks on me. I got some contusions right here. Uh, I would tell you to feel that, Jake, but there's blood everywhere. Uh, so I'm not gonna make you feel it. Got shin raked a couple times. As you can see, my scar turned purple. That is interesting. I did not uh, think that would happen, uh, but that happened. Got shin raked over there. Not as bad. Not as bad, but uh, definitely painful. Um, I'm gonna be back in a couple days, and 
I will show you the data that I collected and I'll give you my final review as crowbars as self-defense tools. Data review. So the pictures you're about to see were taken two days after the experiment. And on my left shoulder, I have a small bruise from the tiny pry bar. On my right shoulder, I have a much more significant bruise and scabs from the larger pry bar. And lastly, on my leg, I have fairly significant bruises from the large standard crowbar. But I'm sure you're asking, Houston, what could all this data possibly mean? Well, outside of the tiny pry bar, I think everything that we tested would make for a very effective self-defense tool, especially the larger crowbars. Due to the sheer weight of these crowbars, even light hits were extremely painful to me. It felt like the crowbar was cutting right through my muscle and hitting me directly on the bone. And even though I didn't get hit with anywhere near a full power swing from one of these bad boys, I still had a limp for a couple of days. So I'm extremely confident when I say that a full power swing from a crowbar could 100% break bones. And if that's not enough, I think you could easily impale someone with the sharp or pointy ends, which is kind of scary to think about. I mean, just imagine a crowbar stuck into someone. Just glad it wasn't me. So in conclusion, crowbars are more than just tools. They're weapons. If you need them to be. Which I kind of hope you don't.